Welcome to my spaceship ground battle, Brad. So your spaceship is the scourge of glimmer shielded cyclopses. That's right. Uh oh, a fire giant. I guess if it's a fire guy, I should probably use frost weapons on it. Well, you've got a freeze ray mark too. Okay, great. No, 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 that was a recommended weapon. Yeah, that's a recommended weapon. You, necessarily... you got an R wing. I got an R wing. Man, I love Star Fox. Well, they uh, finally made another Star Fox game. Cool. Starlink, Battle no for Star Fox. Starlink. Now, Starlink no. for the Switch, no. Nintendo's Switch, uh, is what we're playing here. And okay, so I'm. We're gonna. You may have heard about this game out there uh, as a game with a bunch of toys and all the other stuff. We used some of the toys on UPF last week. But uh, it seems like the cool way to play this game is digitally and not use any of the toys because like they're, the they're the toys look nice, but they're kind of a hassle. They're more expensive than the digital versions of the weapons and pilots and ships. Um, and I'm gonna, gonna you know, we'll, we'll get into some of the the ship changeout stuff in a second here. But but for starters, I'm gonna switch back to this uh, these frost missiles. So in short, this is a toys to life game with the toys optional. Toys optional toys to life game, but you still do have to buy digital versions of the toys to unlock them for in-game use. Okay. Uh, bolt X for active shield or reflect. Oh yeah, yeah. So you kind of you kind of shield up here. Um, wow, who's that guy? That's one of my pilots. One of my guys. Where are his eyes? That's I don't know. Um. All right, I picked up an anti-grav booster mod. Uh, so we're kind of in the middle of combat here. Uh, this is uh, this is a, a hairier. Oh geez. Okay, we got blown up. Quit the fight. All right, so that means our R wing hole is down. So if we were using real toys, we would stop and yank the toys off of the base and put a new ship on and maybe move our weapons over and all this other stuff. But since we're not doing that, I get to just go in this menu and say, actually, just give me the Neptune, and it replaces the hull with this tank class hull. Um, I can swap out wings. You can actually add wings on wings on wings, so we can actually put a third wing on here and really just stack these. Uh, what do we What do we want more of though? Uh, handling, handling might be good because this is a heavy ship. So we're gonna put handling wings on this thing, and you can have up to three wings per side, That's and then your weapon. A lot of wings. It's a lot of wings. Uh, you can also change pilots. The pilots level up and have individual skills. Uh, and you can also do things like flip your weapons around. So if you want them to face backwards and, and you can you can do that. Even the wings, you can put them on backwards or upside down and stuff like that on the toys and that's reflected in game. Does it uh, change anything? No, the, with the wings it's just cosmetic, but uh, the wings do have stats. Okay, so you see now our, our big hulking mass of wings is reflected. Uh, we're gonna try and shoot the ice beams. There we go. I'm on fire. That's probably bad. Okay. This guy like an elite, would you say? <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, this is the first uh, hard fight I've been in so far in the game. Uh, this is maybe like a couple hours in. Oh, geez. All right. Uh, I mean, I am getting almost an MMO-ish kind of vibe from the enemy names and health bars and stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's go with uh, the like Lance, which is pretty much statistically similar to the Star Fox ship, which is a Nintendo exclusive. I mean, that guy straight up has a red icon next to his name. Yeah. So you know he's hard. Exactly. Uh, I guess I probably want to maybe try to reflect more. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing that wrong. I'm getting set on fire. This is this is them trying to teach me how to use the shield, which I've not had to use up to this point. So I'm probably gonna be kind of bad at it, but I think we'll win because I bought more toys than he did. Yeah, you got like three more ships. Out. Yeah. That ore processor's gonna be tucked inside the ruin somewhere. Is that a plant man? That's a plant man. We're on a huh. mission here. Uh, let's pick up this heat corrupted Nova. Oh, that's gonna be okay. That's gonna be something we have to carry around. So I'm not gonna. Reminder. Oh, geez. Corrupted Nova samples like this are a valuable resource. It will fetch a high price at any outpost. All right. So yeah, this is uh, it's it's weird because like I'm stuck to the ground here. We're a spaceship. I can kind of hit this uh, hit the R button. You see, it says push R to fly. I can take off at any time and fly up and go to other planets and and move about the system and such. Uh, but it's weird. This game goes from like you thinking it's kind of a dog fighting thing and a, a space sim with some planetary stuff, and then when you get to the planet, I'm just kind of hovering around like a hovercraft here, just strafing about and shooting and going up to buildings and talking to them in a way that like almost makes you feel like I should be a guy on a horse or something, or a guy in a tank. Uh, 
and and but instead I walk up to buildings and talk to the buildings. Spaceships and, talking to buildings. Yeah, spaceships First talking game. to buildings to get quests First to do normal stuff. Video game uh, yeah. Okay. Oh, here's a. Analysis: The Nova may be more easily dislodged mm -hmm. and targeted with heat weaponry. Okay. Well, we're in luck. Uh, we're gonna go and put that heat gun. We have a few different heat guns. Uh, that we've got here. Oh, I'm almost close to... So you level up the weapons, you level up the ships, you level up the pilots. Like, there are a lot of numbers to go up uh, here. Yeah, I am getting an extreme 2018 action RPG vibe yeah. from all this. Uh, numbers everywhere. All right, we have cleared away that stuff, and now we're going to rip this door off. God, all video games are kind of the same now, right? They really, they really are. Huh. Everything became an RPG. Yeah. It should be somewhere inside. All right, Thanks we've Dr. picked up this ore processor. Thanks, Dr. Greg and or Ray. Yeah. Dave, Whoever was that said that right. 12 years ago. Um, okay, we've picked up the ore processor, and now we need to deliver it, okay. which means I we can't carry that other Careful. thing that I had that was worth a bunch of money. Those processors were built to last, but they're heavier than a skinner tusk. You might have a touch of trouble taking flight. That's fine. I love a good skitter tusk. Yeah. We will boost, though. It really hits the spot. Um, and we'll head back to that building and, and give this to that building. And talk to the building. What's, uh, what's old Fox McCloud up to? Uh, he, they he took their leave. This. They're in the intro to the game, oh. and, then, and then they're like, uh, all right, cool, we gotta go, but okay. I could swap to him at any time. Okay, okay. He's still a pilot. I see. Um, but he's not necessarily, like, factoring into the story in a central way. Uh, yeah, it, like, because this is a multi-platform game, like, there are missions, and, and there's way more Star Fox in the game than I thought there would be, but at the same time, they kind of deftly put him into sequences that if you just removed him and Slippy and everyone else's dialogue, the story still works. Okay. They just kind of provide extra lines like, yeah, we'll get him! You know, <laughs> okay. stuff like that. So, so you're not missing much by not playing as, as Fox the whole time? No, in fact, I, I wanted to switch to this guy because he seems like the actual main character. <laughs> uh, and and, ha and playing as Star Fox, I felt like at some point I was like robbing myself of what this game is supposed to be. Um, it, it was kind of hard to tell, really. Great from your onboard computer. Is that guy's name Ma Mason, did I see? Uh, yeah. Like Purchase Mason. the Warden Cipher upgrade. Okay, so. I think but Mason the is the most video game ass na secrets. name possible. Yeah, it really. It's because Freemasons make all the. It's not Magic Elves. I know you thought Magic Elves mm -hmm. made all the video games. It's the Masons. Oh, okay. It's the Masons. You gotta go one layer deeper. To no, find exactly. If you look truth. at a, the back of a dollar bill, you will see a design doc for every video game ever made. That eyeball on top of the pyramid. Oh, yeah. It's looking in a certain direction mm -hmm. toward a certain skyscraper mm -hmm. in New York City. Yep. And you know what's going on you in there. You know what's going on in there. All right, so this is a, this is kind of a story upgrade here, but you, you upgrade your, your main ship, and that'll give you things like uh, your, 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 where you dock, basically. And that'll give you things like, uh, oh, you can carry more stuff on all your ships because you're picking up loot and, and all that. So, okay, decrypt the Warden Artifact to intercept Legion transmissions. That's what we're buying, and that will advance the story. But there's other stuff here like, oh, uh, combine mods to form better mods, uh, hold more stuff, uh, get more money. Uh, these these kind of upgrades kind of come as you go. Here, so, okay, Warden Riddle, accept. So we'll push up and accept that quest. And now we've got another quest. Uh, okay, I, I re repaired all my ships, so I'm gonna go back to our wing because I'm close to leveling it up. Uh, weight heavy. We could, let's remove these wings here and go back to a two wing configuration. Link wing. Yeah. Link is in this game too. Yeah, Link wing. Okay. So this whole. I didn't. I bet you didn't know he had a last name. That's the Skyward Sword version of yeah. Link. Yeah. Right. Everyone's favorite. Yeah. Uh, okay, we're gonna stick with these weapons for now. Uh, one. Oh, we got one new weapon mod though, so we can go into. Uh, this mod menu here. So mods for the ship, uh, and this is going to be stuff like oh, plus twenty speed, plus ten handling, or plus twenty pilot ability, charge speed. You know, health on reflect, and, and that sort of stats stuff. Stats and percentages. Totally. Yeah. Modifiers, damage uh, types. Plus twenty resistance to gravity. Uh, you know, so elemental effects and stuff like that. Uh, is it the progression that's keeping you going? Like you seem pretty into this game. 
It's, is, it's, is, it, is, it, is it the carrot on the stick? Because uh, it looks like there's an awful lot to upgrade. There's an awful lot to upgrade, and, and that's been pretty neat. I think it plays reasonably well. Uh, I, I don't think it's like it's some incredible gameplay experience or per se, <laughs> but it is... It's fun. Adequate. Uh, yeah, uh, and 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 just kind of like seeing what's there. And, and basically, I feel like I haven't hit bottom yet on like what is to it, and maybe I'll hit that soon, and I'll go like, ah, it's not quite enough. But so far, it, it's... I'm... I am impressed with this game. It better, is, it is more than expected. Yeah. Okay. So plus ten percent cold damage, but obviously you can only equip it on cold weapons. You can't make a hot weapon cold. Um, Maybe you can't. Yeah. Well. Uh, so we have twenty percent plus twenty fire rate, plus twenty five percent damage to close targets, or I could go with plus ten percent damage and heals for ten percent of damage done, which might be kind of cool. Uh, but maybe I'll put that on the other. Maybe I'll look at my other weapon here. Maybe I would put that there instead. Maybe that'd be better suited here. Plus 10 rate of fire, plus 15 range. I like the range. Kickback's not an issue with this gun. Put that on something else, probably. Uh, oh, is that... Did I... Is it a different type of upgrade that I can't use here? Did I bone that up? Okay, well... There are a lot of mods. Uh, you are always finding them. Uh, and... Uh, so you, you you could fiddle around in those menus for a very long time. Hey, Star Fox. Um, or fiddle around in the toys if that's you the yeah, direction. Oh, here, here we're getting some more Star Fox stuff here. Had to put a price on it. Do you take Cornarian money? Oh right. Look, I heard the expedition got raided. Some research site on Haven. Not the usual mo for outlaws. Might be your guy. Star Wolf. I hate to say this, but that was a very Canadian outlaw. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of. Chase it down. A lot of Canadian. <laughs> Nothing against Canadians whatsoever. A lot of Canadian VO in this game. Um, what's up with like the world of this? Is, is I assume it's a completely unique universe. Uh, it's Earthlings uh, uh, discover uh, alien technology that lets them warp weird places, and so they've warped to a weird place. The guy who's kind of their mentor has been kidnapped uh, by aliens, and you're trying to get to the bottom of why uh, and it's how. An outlaw hideout. I sent it to your map. Um, have you seen the other versions of this at all? No, I have not. Okay. Uh, I would be curious to see what it looks like on other platforms, because, yeah. yeah, you know, it's like there's... I think it looks fine, yeah, but, you know, is, there's, there's a little bit of fog, there's a little bit of... I, mean, I wonder this is, if... No, this is fine. I, yeah, I just... Yeah. It's more... I wonder how much better those look, but yeah. there's, there's nothing wrong with this. I need to try something else. My research suggests these spires react to different elements. Try switching up your weapons. Try buying more toys. Um... Oh, I guess that's a thing I yeah, want to I rotate, huh? Turn it to okay. Make it line up. Yeah. Are you actually turn? So it, it, it looks like it reacts to different types of weapons. Oh. So I might need to swap in. Uh, oops. Okay. Uh, change loadout. Let's try. Uh, we tried kinetic. Uh, let's try the vortex. Missile volley is probably not. Siege Vortex Launcher. Let's try. Let's try that. I haven't used some of these weapons yet, so. I need to try something else. He needs to try something else. Oh, maybe you should try something else. Let's try one more thing, and then we'll just go do something else. Uh, okay, so we've tried kinetic. Uh, let's try stasis. Because there's no like visual feedback on what it, what it needs. Try switching up your weapons. <laughs> Everything I know about Warden's players tells me that's the key. I'm surprised there's like there's, there's no hint at all. Uh, not not that I'm seeing here. Huh. Uh, I mean, it's entirely possible that there is something I'm missing. Like, like some. Color? Uh, I, I saw there was one of these that was like basically there were two aspects uh, on either side of it that would fill up. One when you shot it with heat. One when you shot it with ice. So I needed to equip fire and ice and and shoot it with both huh. for a length of time, basically. Uh, to get it to do a thing. I need to try something else. He needs to try something else. Uh, I guess ice is the only thing we haven't tried, right? Well, they are blue. There we there. go. Yes. Oh, okay. How do they turn? Oh. Oh, you have to move them around. They slide. Oh yeah. my god, it's a freaking tile sliding puzzle. Great. My favorite. Okay. Okay, that one needs to be Over there. down here. Yes. So. Uh, that one in the lower right needs to be up top. Okay. We'll just uh, rotate around and get this one right. Uh, top one, look. No, okay. Oops. Yeah, top one left. Top one left. Right one up. Right one up. And then this one out. 
It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle and we've solved it, and we get some better mods for it, I believe. If you got a puzzle, yo, I'll solve it. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Just, just making an offer. Okay. Perhaps something went wrong with its anchor. Um, I was gonna ask are the... I mean, we've talked about this in the office, I vaguely know the answer to this question, but yeah. uh, the pricing situation with the toys versus the digital? Uh, it is it is less expensive to go digital. Uh, I, I feel like it is the saddest commentary on the state of the business that I am impressed by that fact. <laughs> yeah. Like, I, yeah. I just would have assumed that it would be the same price for the toys or the digital. Uh, no, I get it. I get um, it, man. But Absolutely. That's good on them, I guess, for acknowledging... Frost missile volleys. I want to find a, some different missile volley type thing here. Vortex missile volleys. Let's give that a go for a while. Oh, actually, we gotta... We gotta... Plus 20% elemental resistance. That doesn't seem too bad. Let's go with that. Uh... And so we also unlocked, uh, I, I just hit like another level with the R-Wing hole. You see this one pip filled in down there. It didn't actually say what that did. Maybe it says in the collection. If I go to the hangar. Whoa. Yeah, so Wait. this is basically all of the toys, more or less, Jeez, in terms of, of, like, well, you know. I was going to say that's a lot of pilots, but of course it is if they would, yeah. if they wanted to make a lot of toys to sell. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, ships. So you can, oh, you it's can. Oh, the store here. You can just get a, a bulk package that has all of the toys. The, yeah, all so the digital they, versions of the toys. I yeah, they, they have a, a, like a deluxe edition. Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% clear on the, the pricing of it. I want to say that's $99.99 okay. uh, for kind of that, that full version. But uh, <clears throat> Does it seem like you could get away with less? Absolutely. Like, like, could you just get maybe, I don't know, two or three pilots and maybe the same number of ships and be okay? Yeah, totally. The pilots, uh, you know, well, I, I did gain another level here, so we can go into pilot skills. So you know, there's a skill tree here to level up to, um, per pilot. And so this this, this is a different tree for every uh, every one of the pilots. And uh, you gain XP with the pilots you have, even if you're not using them, oh, okay. just as, at a slower rate. So he's level four, and I bet my other guys will probably be level three-ish by now. Because um, I was gonna say, why would you ever play multiple pilots otherwise? Uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're not wrong. Uh, Combo tactician. Let's, uh, you know, I haven't really been around allies a lot, so that doesn't seem that useful. Better damage for my ultimates, my ability, my pilot ability seems like it'd be good. Faster recharge on it would be good though too. Let's go with more damage. Space. No, let's go to space. I love yeah. it there. Uh, so I've got, you know, there's there's side quests. There's oh, so I just I just did open up the the Star Fox mission tree here. Uh, which is cool that they've got that. Uh, is that just like a side quest line? Yeah, I assume. Okay, it's like an exclusive set of quests, basically. Uh, but let's let's stick on the main path here, and because that'll take us to space, and we can get a look at space. I think we need to get up into space proper before we can yeah, we go to do. hyperspace. We need to leave all this behind. Yeah, let's get out of here. Space is where we can be free. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, that's... Uh, yeah, so you see, like, level ranges for planets and stuff like that. This Man, is, yeah. God damn, do they do the No Man's Sky thing? Let me look back at the other planet you just okay. came from. Oh, the one I came from. Okay, uh, where is that? Is that here? Is it just this? Uh, no, where? Is it right behind you? There it is. There. Yeah, ah, man, I, I hate to be a, uh, such a pedant about this, but I hate when these games jam all their planets right next to each other. <laughs> How am I going to pretend I'm in Star Trek if it doesn't feel like real space? It's, uh, you're, you're in a system. You warped to this system. Oh, I know, but, like, but, you just give me a star oh, map. Oh, I can fast travel now. Okay, that's cool. You could just give me a star map that makes them all easily navigable, and I can still maintain my... Right. Uh, maintain plausibility. So going from place to place, you will some, sometimes get jumped by bandits. And have to fight him. Hmm. Man, really is no man's sky. Huh? Like, well, uh, no, obviously no. It is Whoops. more. Incoming oh. outlaw hyperspace trap. Oh, oh okay, we dodged bridge. it. Okay. Oh, does that like let you avoid the encounter? Yeah. That's kind of a we... neat, that's a neat idea. Yeah, well. Uh. Hyperspace trap bypassed. Area clear. I have been told repeatedly that I should just play Elite hey, welcome or, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Like if you want realistic space. Judge, tell us what we got. 
So this is weird. It had me fly back here, but like I don't dock with this ship. It's like I just walk up to the ship and get like this dialogue. Huh. Like you couldn't just That's amazing. communicate with it remotely? We intercept no. a repeating transmission. But I guess we'll get a cutscene for our trouble. Uh, my children. My believers. The writing's been hit and miss. You know, they're, they're going for kind of a youthful, a, a younger audience with this, you know, being a toy game. And, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Like, it seems like, if I had to find a comparison, like, it, it, I don't think it works quite as well across age ranges as some other games have. Uh, Dude, what the heck was that? That mask. Is that your influencer, buddy? Yeah. He's in just extreme sports and live streaming. Okay. Um, Space Periscope? That has to be Grax. Yeah. No. No way. You don't know what you're saying. Grax or otherwise, this video confirms it. This fellow is controlling the Legion. And he just released another on Sonatus. Then we need to head there immediately. Or I could go do all these side quests somewhere else. Roger that. On the way. Let me change pilots. How about Star Fox? How about Star Fox? His special ability, rock and roll. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Now I'm on board. It's like, check it out. I brought a pistol. All right. That's good to know. In case you guys ever get out of the ships, you've got a pistol. Uh, I, I asked this on UPF and did not seem to get a lot of traction, but I feel like the current version of Star Fox yeah. just looks kind of mean. No. I'm with you. Like, he just looks like he's angry and pissed off and kind of sinister all the time. Yeah. But, there we are. Dr. Wilder, are you there? Fern. I wonder if I can just go there. Carl? Look, um, I'm evacuating the workshop. I'll have to call you later. Then you've seen the Prime. Fascinating, isn't it? No, I mean. All this cutscene's playing out. I'm going to try and fly over to this distant, it's unknown planet and see if it becomes a known planet and if it gives me a level range. I'm just curious. It can't be. I know, it sounds insane, but I know what I saw. The Legion, they'll overrun all of Sonatus. Oh, oh. The whole planet. Impossible. I'm sorry, I have to go. Hold on, we're coming to help. But not immediately. So, you know, like the whole gang gets in on the act on a lot of the cutscenes. I think that's how they handle the, the notion that they can't guarantee which pilot you'll be using at any okay. given time. Do you think, are you only seeing all that dialogue because you own all the pilots? No, because they're all part of the story, no matter what. Okay. Hyperspace trap. Also, yeah, how would they upsell you on pirate pilots you don't own <laughs> if they didn't show you everything? Sure, yeah. And some of the, I, I think the digital version of the game comes with everything but the retailer exclusive ships. Okay. Um, which is kind of. Man, what a kind of meteoric rise and fall of the Toys to Life genre. Incoming out yeah. of like, space trap. I still remember that that first holiday season that the first Skylanders was out. Yeah, totally. Who was it? Trap Somebody on Twitter, I remember Area describing clear. the display at the Toys R Us as looking like raccoons had ravaged it. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like people were just, just, just climbing over each other to get their hands on Skylanders that year. And a lot of it seemed like collectors, you know, mm. and... and Wait, People that were not necessarily playing the game in some cases. Are you saying, saying it's just just Phantom Menace toys all over again? Morning. Maybe a little bit. Uh, like but I mean, the games did well too. Like, yeah. I, you know, I don't mean to say that hey, Skylanders was always whatever, but you know. Hyperspace trap bypass. The idea of buying new, like current toys, expecting them to appreciate. <laughs> Like in our, uh, I got a Toy Fair exclusive Skylander that I bet is still worth oh, oh, something yeah. to if someone. It's, if it's but, a limited thing, sure. Yeah. But like just off the shelf retail stuff, like come on. Right. They're gonna sell millions of those things. No, I got the Boba Fett. And everybody's going to hoard them now. It's not like 1970. No, yeah. Everyone, yeah. Everyone knows. Like, all right, I better not open this. Starlink database. Okay. Updated. So we went to. We just found some planet. Okay. Uh, it looks like a plant planet. Uh, does all game take place in this one system? Uh, that's the impression I get, but but uh, I guess I don't know for sure. Uh, you warp to the system at the beginning of the game, and it kind of goes from there. Um, so you can't 
really fly up and down? Like you're... well, so I can I can go back to fly at any time. Like if I if I it's but, not really the best way to fight or play, but oh, okay. you, I can get up here and, okay. and try to okay. do I stuff. Did, I, didn't, uh, I wasn't sure if you were lost. And that might be a good way to like try to maybe get from place to place a little more quickly. Uh, ow. Imps. Uh, you playing this in handheld? Yeah. Uh, I'll say that the UI is a little too small. Mm. Um, they didn't necessarily account for that in some ways. But. Uh, anyway, I don't really need to be here. So, you know, but uh, so you know, you got a map of the planet. Uh, you know, plants are gonna have depots and things you can kind of liberate uh, to. Kind of open them back up and, and get some, you know, you see, see here, if I, if I go to this prison and do what I need to do there, it's going to give me some, you know, some mods and some other points and stuff like that. Um, you also find buildings that are effectively shops where you can sell off uh, items you've collected uh, and, and that sort of thing. I wonder, okay, let's hit request mission. See Equinox, if Fox here. What do you got for me? We need to grow our alliance. I have an outpost on scan. Let's see if they'll join us. I'll find him. People talking like the Star Fox characters have just been speaking intelligibly for years, but it, I, it just doesn't seem right to me. Should Star Foxes talk? No. I mean, yes, but... But not English. Yes. Well, there is a scene at the beginning of the game where uh, people use like a galactic translator well, thing to okay. understand uh, each other. So. Well, I, mean, I mean, that little character intro of Star Fox just now, you heard some of that. Right, yeah. All right, I see the outpost. I can complete that mission, I guess. Uh, so this is what I'm talking about. Hold to talk, and then you're talking to this building, but, you know, you're... Wondering if you can help me out here. So, yeah, you, you can kind of get missions. The way some of this stuff is written, I wonder if you kind of can get missions almost infinitely, if it's just kind of generating generic stuff for you here. Um... And then I got XP for leveling up my, you know, I had to like XP for my wings and stuff. Uh, That's enough. We won't take your abuse oh, any longer. Sorry. How about you? Uh, I guess they don't. I shot their beacon and they, they were not cool with that. What are they going to do about it? Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, you can jump when you're, when you're grounded to the planet. You can jump and kind of do little tricks here. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Flying is kind of like jumping forever when you think about it. It's true. Uh, we're going to scan this animal. Kind of have to make your way around it and fill in all these ju gems. I love scanning. Partial scan complete. Scan more specimens to complete the DNA profile. I mean, I know they're different games with different intents and everything, but I, I get such a strong No Man's Sky vibe off of this. Like, yeah, like this feels you, like, uh, you know, you just like, list out the parts. It's, it's it, you know, it doesn't feel as vast. It, it, this no, feels no. like way more like crafted content yeah. as opposed to procedurally generated. And it's, it's, uh, more, but, it's more directed and progression focused, obviously. Yeah. It's more video game. Less right. experience, I guess I would say. Yes. Uh, um, but it's... But so many of the component parts are there. It's neat. Uh, I'm, I was kind of surprised uh, as I started. Well, I, I'd kind of heard going in, like, you know, definitely like people had started saying like, hey, you know, this thing is like way cooler than it seems like at first blush. And I was like, yeah, I, I, I find that very easy to believe from looking at it. Um, but yeah, like I, you know, I, I think the the toys are cool uh, in, in terms of them being sturdy and looking nice. Um, but ergonomically, I don't think they feel great in the controller. Uh, we scanned three of these, and now we know it's a mortipede. So, Ew, that's a mortipede. It's so gross. They can spit venom up to forty feet. Be careful. Okay, I'll be careful. Who's this guy? Oh. Oh. This fucking guy. That. Uh. He should, he should maybe get that looked at. That looks... Uh, you will sometimes find animals that have been, like, infected, and you need to kind of yank the infection yeah. spore off of them. Yeah, that looks inflamed. No, that's just his... That's just him. Can make, like, a cream for that? Just, yeah, that's, he is the cream. Um, Alright, why don't we go back to space and see if I can fast travel to 
where we need to go to do actual meaningful missions. And instead of just dicking around here. And I'm going to switch back to my other guy here, because I think his main thing is charged up. Hmm. Let's go! Yeah, I don't, I don't love this guy. <laughs> but yeah, I guess okay, that's the thing. I don't, I don't, like, the writing is not terrific. I don't, I don't, I don't really like the characters that much. Uh, Yeah, definitely getting a little bit of a tween. Young adultish kind of vibe off of yeah. it. But, you know, uh, yeah, no, it's a life game. Totally. Absolutely. Ah! I don't know if I can actually do that. I don't, yeah. I don't think you can really shoot your way through the asteroids, which is kind of a bummer. That'd be fun. That also means it's a lot harder to make your way through situations like this, but that's fine. Warning. Incoming Let's just, hey, how about we track. fight in space? What we catch this time? All right, what do we got? Not getting away that easy. That's that guy. So I think the flight controls, uh, I wish I had a few more options there. Um, it's uh, it's like the left stick is used for throttle uh, and the right stick is used for steering. And I feel like I want like some steering on the left stick. Uh, like, you know, like Ace Combat was always really good about having a lot of options for like, hey, how do you want to handle your two sticks and controlling this spaceship? Uh, and this one does not offer any options for that. Uh, so I, I like the way it controls on planets because it's like left stick strafe and right stick, uh, you know, kind of steer and stuff. But or uh, look, you know, aim and all that. But I feel like space flight could be a little better. Space is hard. Yeah, there's no air there. Warning. Ah! Incoming well. outlaw hyperspace trap. Just get a fight again. Okay, let's, I wonder, let's, what, what does an orbital, orbital strike do in space? Orbital strike incoming. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> Not much. That's what you get. Equinox, fire on my mark. So pilots don't die with ships? No. Pilots die at all? I don't think so. Unless maybe all your ships die? Well, then I think you have to, like, load a save. Well, yeah, that's, what your... that's the game over state. Yeah. Uh, at any point, like, a, you can kind of say, hey, oh, man, I get, I'm getting trapped in my own vortexes here. So, yeah, you see, I can respawn at planet orbit. Uh, or I can just kind of keep fighting because I have all these ships. All right, we also, I'm going to change out the, this missile volley for this one. Let's try to fight. Are they just throwing these outlaws at you kind of all the time? Yeah. Because it seems like this... Yeah, they're kind of the minute you go into hyperspace, you're, like you've been dodging you're dodging fights. Like constantly. Yeah. Uh -oh, this ain't I'm... Good for you. Really bad at seeing the red arrows as to the directions of where these outlaws are. There we go. They're very tiny and very red. Which is not my strong suit in terms of colors I can see good. Just you wait. But okay. Alright, uh forget that. Okay. Let's go. Uh, the last thing I was going to ask, the thing you were saying about the uh, toys weighing down the controller. Yeah. Like, that's only relevant Warning. to the Switch version, right? I'm not sure exactly how it works on other versions. Because, uh, in effect, you are sticking your Joy-Cons into that. Yeah. Because even on that, if, if you if you have the Joy-Cons and a Pro Controller, I, I guess you can put the Joy-Cons into that dock uh, to get so that the game can read the toys, but also... Uh, use a pro controller so you're not necessarily holding the thing. 
I need to be better at using shields, actually, Easy is the thing. Pickings. I've not... That's that's pretty clearly the thing I'm not spending enough time getting good at here. Which is cool. This is on normal. It's got multiple difficulties. Um... Iced him. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. Uh, you can also kind of set how much auto aim you want on these shots. Like I've, I've got it set to default, which is pretty high. So it doesn't, you know, it's not like a super, like the, you know, you're, you're not necessarily gonna. All right, let's put our shields up and see if that'll protect us long enough to make it out of this incredibly dangerous state we're in. Oh, so we have a new outlaw hideout mission to go blow up. It's kind of cool. Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Yeah, they're kind of are a lot of these, aren't there? These outlaws have no chill. No. At all. Hyperspace trap bypassed. Area clear. some stuff in space, but every, I feel like every time I stop, I get jumped by outlaws. So I haven't really stopped, at, you know, see this question mark icon oh. up in the corner and mm. stuff like that. But so far, that's Warning. just been more fighting. Outlaw hyperspace I assume there's like minerals to yeah, mine and stuff like that. Or, yeah. Ah, uh, nope. You want to find some more? I'm picking up some wreckage near your position. Might be worth checking out. Do you have to fight these guys to get out of the encounter? We just gotta um, I think eventually your hyperspace will go back online, is what it looked like it was said. Uh, and yeah, so, this, maybe this you get to a point where... Seems a bit like much. Can't hit me. This isn't over. Yeah, and these encounters don't seem especially difficult. I know I, I lost like three ships to that first one, but we kind of flew out of the main progression, so I wonder if I just flew into, like, higher level space. Everyone retreat. Or something, but... Alright, let's try and get to this other planet and get a look at it, and, and then we'll send it on home. But yeah, it's I'm, I'm having a pretty good time with it. I, I think it's, uh... It's neat. Warning. Incoming outlaw Though, now that I'm, like, flying around space more often and seeing these things, man, this might... This is... Hyperspace trap bypassed. Area at some point, I just want to point at a planet, hit button, and go. Yeah. Uh, and it didn't give me that option to fast travel back to the, even the, the main ship like it did when we first went to space. Oh, I have some two points I could spend. I could uh, get more money in shipments. Yeah, sure. That seems useful. Uh, now let's get this one, too. We'll unlock the mod foundry. Space trap. Yep. We got I wonder if I should like stop that. there. If that's if I get out of hyperspace and and put my way through it that way. If that's the right thing to do. I wonder if I can just go. Huh. Yeah, you better run. Okay. Well, I guess there's that. These guys are relentless. Ugh. I think I should go to their hideout and blow them up. Yeah, I was actually going to say when that popped up earlier, I wonder if that changes the, the encounter rate. I would guess probably not, but I don't know.
But that aside, <laughs> I've been having a pretty good time with it. Uh, it's been pretty neat. Uh, but it is not without its uh, rough patches, for sure. Mushroom planet. Yeah. Okay, we made it. Doctor, are you still there? Do you know where the Prime went? The Prime? I don't know. It was moving so fast. That's fine. We can help. Is there anything you can tell us? No, I... Wait. I don't know if it'll work, but the extractor it planted. You need to go there. And what I need to do is find a friendly uh, base that I can go to and can repair all my existing Kyle, ships because they're going to stay broken Who until I... People? Hashtag Starlink, yo. <sighs> That's that, that, that guy, that was... They just wanted him to show up and say, hashtag Starlink, yo. They maintain a connection. So uh, that seemed needless. React, <laughs> and made me dislike this so game slightly more. Uh, whatever. Understood. Uh, let's go look at this extractor. See, see, it works because this is kind of a piece of satire that also doubles as legitimate effective marketing strategy. Yeah. Because they planted the idea in your head. No, exactly. All the hashtag all the, Starlink. All the best brands know. So they might get somebody with that. Weapon familiarity improved. Apparently I leveled up uh, a weapon by doing sick barrel rolls there. Uh, so this is going to be, if I remember right, similar to the fight we did on the show on uh, Friday. The storm, it's disrupting my engines. Uh, the extractor emits electrical pollution. Your flight engines may not work. Yeah. Okay, I can handle it, I think. So you get these extractors, uh, you know, you kind of have to expose the weak point. Ice Cyclops, we probably want a different weapon for this. Wait, sorry, load out. Uh, what do we got here? Siege Cone of Fire, Overheating Ram, Precise Gatling. Let's go with Precise Gatling. Thermal Shock. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am also talking That's about. That's what he's talking about. What are you talking about? I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, hashtag Starling. Oh. on these things, and you know, I'll take some damage, but it'll be okay. It's gonna ring all the numbers out of those things. Yeah. And then when you get all the... You kind of open up this phase. So this is this is a fight that's repeated multiple times per planet. Uh, oops, just that jump there. And we'll kind of go in phases a little bit where it's gonna close back up, and I've gotta destroy more nodes to expose it again, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, that's Starlink, Brad. Ooh. I think it's pretty neat. Yeah, it seems okay. Um, the six, you could you could just buy the sixty dollars thing and have a good time. Well, so if you bought the sixty dollars thing, you would not have a lot of uh, you know you would not be able to respawn ships the way I'm doing here yeah. and that sort of stuff. Like the default version of the game is only going to come with like one ship, one pilot, and Ooh. a couple of weapons. So. Uh, you will be more limited in what you can see. That's an aspect that I know Skylanders did some similar stuff along those lines, but I'm going to say that this seems maybe a little worse at kind of like that stuff, or that stuff seems more vital here, the elemental aspects of it in terms of making sure you have the right stuff uh, compared to some of the better, uh, some, or some of the other Toys to Life games, I guess. 
Because otherwise, you know, if I was out of ships right there, I'd have to go back and respawn at, like, Plants Orbit and right, maybe right. even start this whole encounter over, which, like, that'd be a bummer. Well, I mean, you're basically paying for a bunch of extra continues. Yes, uh, which is, you know, that's uh, Skylanders also did exactly that, you know, because if a Skylander died, you could just put another one on the portal and keep fighting. Uh, so some of that stuff is kind of well-worn territory at this point, but, like, the... The abstraction of, you can kind of do a digital version of this. Like, makes some of that stuff seem a little weird. Yeah. Uh, also, like, this is a cool game, but also I'm playing a version of it that would be like a hundred bucks. Yeah. I don't know that it's a hundred dollars worth of cool. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, maybe you pick up the, the base version and buy a, an extra ship or an extra pilot or something like that and don't, don't necessarily go all the way in. Uh, maybe you, that would work out. If you buy the Switch version, is Star Fox extra? Ah... Uh, I, I want to say all the physical, like, starter editions of the game come with the Star Fox stuff. Okay. So I, I, I bet that that's probably the case uh, with the digital version, but I, I cannot say for sure. Like I said, you know, there's so many different configurations and weird additional purchases and stuff you can make, like, uh, that that stuff is obfuscated a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that, that's the thing. It's like the... If you went out and bought the base version of the game, I think you would have a pretty different experience than the one I'm having. And I don't know that I can necessarily recommend this game at that at that higher price point. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a lot. It is. It's a lot. A uh, lot. A lot of games out right now. Yeah. Competing for your attention, yes. and so paying more than the average rate for this eh, might be a bit iffy. But it seems fun. Yeah. Toys are sturdier than they looked uh, when they first showed them, and, and that's kind of cool. So looking, looking for Toys to Life, it's kind of the only game in town. Oh man, I'm so close to killing this thing. All right, Brad, we're going to call it here. That's Starlink Battle for Atlas. Thanks. Hashtag Starlink. Oh. <laughs>